Okay, good evening, everybody. I'd like to call this uh, Committee on Committees uh, September 8th, 2022 uh, meeting to order. Um, I'm the only uh, member present, and so we don't have a quorum, and, and I'm only saying this, as I said it before, because now we're recorded, but we're going to go forward with the interviews um, and have our my colleagues take a look at the recording and then uh, make our recommendations to the town council at that time. And so, Sarian, you, you've got the, the roll call, it's easy enough. But uh, was there anybody who had contacted you for uh, public comment? No, we do not have any public comment at this time. Great, thank you. Uh, so, can't do the approval of the minutes, we don't have the form, so we're going to save those for the next time. Um, and for candidate interviews, I find it's just easier for me to go in order that's listed on the agenda. Um, it looks like we have Janine uh, up first. Kanadia. Janaya, thank you so much. I'm, I it looks it. like it looks like Canadia, but it's Kanadia. It's okay. Kanadia. Uh, so uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. What, uh, how long have you been in town? What, what makes you interested in the Human Rights Commission? Um, we moved to Mansfield, our, my family and I, we moved to Mansfield approximately, I think about 12 years ago. Um, my husband is a research scientist and uh, assistant professor at UConn. Um, that's why we came to Mansfield. Uh, in regards to me, why am I interested in this? Over half of my life, I've always um, worked with people with impairments, um, with disabilities. Um, so I'm always advocating for them, have always. I used to work for the state of Florida. So uh, I was a liaison for um, the indigenous people, the counselor, you know, because of a, a government agency. So I was a liaison for that, um, liaison for certain populations and our own family is diverse. Uh, my husband is from India, so I'm not like other individuals, but have a pretty good understanding of rights, diversity, equity. Um, I've had training with Diversity Equity Institute through uh, my employment. So I have a lot of background, a lot of education uh, in regards to that. I'm not 100% knowledgeable <laughs> I'm always learning, but this is what I bring. I bring advocacy. And uh, I'm glad to hear that. I can I can tell you as, as somebody who has a, a master's of law in human rights and social justice, and also has a uh, diverse family. Uh, my, my wife was born in Puerto Rico. You know, you, you are always learning. And, and uh, what, what I have, uh, learned or what I have witnessed doesn't apply, I think, across the board. And I think that people who come to this Human Rights uh, Commission with a lot of, uh, you know, education or a lot of experience or personal um, experiences, I think it all works. So I'm glad to hear that you have a passion because that's really what I think that that commission really needs from all right. exactly. And what I found um, in Mansfield, it is a great town. It is an awesome town. There is diversity, but I've always, I also hear um, things like that don't happen in Mansfield. I'm like, yes, they do. You need to open your eyes. So I would want to really advocate more for that. Um, and I'm not shy of opening up my mouth, clearly. Right. And I see from your application that you're on the uh, Cultural Awareness Brigade at EO Smith. Uh, the parent aspect of it. Yeah. Um, I, I, we're still yeah. trying to come up with that, their acronym, but yeah, the Cultural Awareness Brigade. Um, my son introduced me to that. He's like, would you like to join? I'm like, yeah, sure. Let's, let's do it. Um, and the diversity, equity, inclusiveness, um, that advisory team. Uh, with the elementary schools and the middle, yeah, the Mansfield Public Schools. So 
helping out with that as well. Um, do you have any questions about the, the commission itself or any of the requirements? I mean, I don't know if you had a chance to go into the, meet, to the meetings yet. Um, I looked at some of the, the meetings, uh, the, the notes. Um, I looked at what the commission does. Um, I'm actually like pulling it up right now, making sure I'm looking at it as well. And um, just wanting to make sure that the meetings are in the evening, correct? And that, that tends to be my understanding. Yeah. Okay. And um, in terms of events and everything, um, outside events, would there be anything like during the day or like if, uh, I guess that's, that's more of it, like the time involved. I do have the time. I just want to make sure that I'm not overextending myself and then all of a sudden say, Hey, I can't do this. I don't want to do that. I want to be full 100%. Yeah. What I would do is there are over 40 different committees, um, in Mansfield. I, I, I admit I'm not as familiar with everyone's schedules, but um, I do know that with the Human Rights Commission, they do have things uh, that, you know, events that have been on at least the weekends. And if you had more specific questions like that, I would definitely um, follow up with the group and, and contact one of the members or Mm -hmm. uh, I know that the chair recently moved. I don't know if they've elected somebody new, but uh, that would be a good place to start. Um, from from our perspective, for the committee on committees, uh, and this this may answer some questions that the other candidates here have. The way that the procedure works is we have the interviews. The committee on committees makes a recommendation um, of uh, you know whatever candidate is selected for various committees and that's voted on and then sent to the next town commit uh, town council meeting and once uh, that's approved then you're officially on and, um, we always encourage because of the lag of time between them we have these meetings monthly town council meets twice a month so there's there's always a gap but that uh, you know shouldn't stop you from being able to go and volunteer and, and participate other than voting you know that's right. be the big thing. so well, um great uh do you have anything uh you think that i i haven't asked that i should ask I, I should really good. no i all of my other questions would be mainly like what can i do <laughs> where can i start that sort of thing um you know indigenous people day is coming up uh, okay. uh the heritage month is coming it's there's there's so many different things and i'm chomping at the bit yeah and um uh, i think that again this is just from my understanding you know when we were developing uh, the um uh, charge for the human rights commission it was something that is, is uh, something i'm passionate about i i could not join as a town council member because then there would have been a whole you know, there has to be one Democrat and one Republican. And we didn't want to make it political. We really wanted it to be you know, volunteers, but this would probably be one of the committees I would want to join um, if I wasn't in a position. So the, the activities that I, I feel like they do or the, the highlights that they, um, you know, programs that they have are, uh, tend to be member driven. So if there's something that you have as an idea, um, you know, feel free to, to submit that or, or, or add it to the file of whatever project they may be working on. So, okay. um, it's, it, you know, again, what I try to encourage people, even if you're not a full-fledged member or, or a member at all, or not an alternate, you can still participate. You can still be part of it, and it's a worthy thing that um, I don't think that necessarily a, a title uh, requires. No, but anything, if I could make a difference anywhere, anyhow, that's, yeah, definitely. All right. Um, Thank you. Should we stay on or should I go or? Everyone, this is a public meeting. You're more than welcome to stay on. That's why uh, we didn't have people stay in and out, but you don't have to stay on at all. You're, what we needed from you tonight is, is all set. But. Okay.
Okay, um, thank you. <laughs> great to meet you. Okay, so looks like the next candidate on our uh, list is Sabrina. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> How are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you, Sam? Doing great. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been in town? Uh, well, I um, have been in town for 15 years now. I started out as a UConn student and I loved it so much. I never left. I met my husband there and we both decided we came from cities like Southington and Hartford and we decided to settle down here. We call it belovedly our cow country. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was born in Peru. I emigrated here when I was four. I don't have um, much um, to offer as far as like, a, you know, a lot about the immigrant experience, but I do think that is very important to me to be related to immigrants who travel 3,000 miles away from their country in order to you know, start a new life. So uh, between that and my experience with children with disabilities, I'm a speech language pathologist by trade. It was very important to me to join my district wide um, equity committee. And we talk about things such as uh, inclusion of um, children with disabilities. We talk about how we can change the environment so that other people can feel more comfortable communicating with our students. And it's not always about changing our our children or children like my son who is autistic so i definitely feel very passionate about that i'm also fortunate to be terry berthelot's neighbor from down the road <laughs> she has, has been uh, has been a wonderful um guide in that sense um because i see her doing things and i want to do them too <laughs> um yeah and Finally, I just want to be more involved in the town. I feel as though I love it so much that I want to share that love with other people. Um, I also signed up um, this coming fall, well, actually starting next week, for the local government academy so I can learn more about what the town does and the background knowledge that it takes. Yeah, a number of people have uh, had favorable um, reports on, on participating in that, in that program. And it's really nice that our town manager you know, it's in my mind still still new. He's been here for I think a couple of years, but he um, he brought that, and it's been great for individuals who have lived here their whole life, were born here, and they said they've learned things. So, oh, fantastic! It'll be really good. Um, so I'm looking at uh, your uh, application, and I see that you work for uh, the uh, Vernon Public Schools. I do. And uh, just uh, my, my day job is uh, family assistant clerk in the Rockville clerk's office. Wow, that's yeah. great. Do you know Cynthia Zingler? What's the name? Cynthia Zingler. I think she's part of the family school partnership office. I don't know that. I mean, it, it may be that she's just in a different department. I, I mean, could be absolutely could be. I just wondering. <laughs> but uh, so uh, sounds like you've got a passion for what the, the Human Rights Commission uh, charge is. Would you uh, like? But do you have any ideas that you'd be bringing to you know? Like, what would you would you be uh, trying to advocate for different things in town, or, or would you just want to be? Support about the things that they're already doing. And... Well, I was really impressed with the Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> uh, mural. I thought that was really great and in such a prominent place in town. So I thought that, that was definitely a pivotal moment for me when I thought, oh, we have like Human Rights Commission here <laughs> hanging with us. That was also part of the reason I wanted to join. Um, I, I definitely got really excited hearing all of Jane's ideas at the last meeting. I thought that you know, uh, making sure that all holidays are included. That's also important to me. Uh, I have students who whose minds seem to explode when I tell them my, I have family that lives where it's currently, you know, the end of winter. <laughs> so absolutely, I think we can do a lot more to uh, broaden our students' horizons. Um, I've had the fortune of talking with uh, Annie Vinton staff 
um, for example, um, Jen Sugarasso, who teaches Spanish, and she makes it her life. She she's so impassioned by it. I thought, wow, if if I had her passion, my son would be bilingual already. <laughs> So yeah, I think there's a lot we can do. And I think people's minds are more open now than they were even 10 years ago. So I'm very excited by all the things that we can do. Yeah, I, I like that. I, um, certainly getting the excitement and the awareness at the, the younger level is always good. And you're right about the mural. I mean, that was visually just something that citizens can see without necessarily having to come to an event or things like that. So anytime you can also then work from the top down with, with um, great is there anything that you think i should know that i uh, did not ask well i especially appreciate that um the playground next to the community center was established fairly recently i want to say my son was was one <laughs> year old and i was really happy about that um the i want to say that my favorite memory of around town is when I got there and I was talking to my son in Spanish and I heard four other languages, two of which I recognize and two I had to hunt down the family and say, hi, <laughs> can you tell me what that is so I know? So it was um, Russian, Italian, Portuguese, and Greek, and then me in Spanish. So I really appreciate our town. I think it's certainly very diverse in, in pockets and I think that we can broaden those pockets for the new future. I agree with that. Thank you. Okay. Um, that leaves us with Velda. I say that yeah. right? Yes, Velda, you're right. How are you? I am good. I'm doing well. Long day, but I'm good. <laughs> Well, thank you for making the time and uh, being here. Um, give me a little bit of background about yourself, just in terms of how long you've been in town. And stuff okay. like that. So um, basically, I've been in, um, I moved to Connecticut, moved to stores in um, 2004. So um, just completed 18 years, um, starting my 19th year here. I moved to work at the university, um, originally from um, St. Lucia, I should say born and raised in St. Lucia, moved up to um, to the United States um, when I was a teenager in Brooklyn, New York, um, went to school upstate New York, and then thought I was, um, Come running away from the cold. So I moved to Stores, Connecticut, thinking that it was a little bit warmer than upstate New York. It isn't. It <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> came here on a two year plan to work at UConn. And um, obviously, life life happens. It must be so great and whatnot. 18 years, I'm, I'm still here. Um, I, <laughs> I married, have two living daughters, um, raising two daughters. Um, um, worked at UConn in various capacities. So I was in Res Life um, for 10 years. Then I moved over to um, um, Engineering, School of Engineering, did some diversity work there. So worked in the Diversity Center. And now I'm in um, the Office for Diversity and Inclusion at UConn. So um, as um, last, last year or last semester, I was the executive assistant there. This semester, I'm actually serving in an interim role. So the um, interim assistant director of the African American Cultural Center because the director um, retired um, after 20, almost 30 years. So um, I'm part of the transition team trying to keep the center afloat until they figure out what they're doing and hire a new director, new staff there. So. Great. Um, and I think I have. Why did I? Should I just answer the other question? Yeah. Okay, so why am I interested in the you know joining the committee? So first of all, actually, um, I, I I wasn't aware there was a committee until um, Jane approached me and um, you know spoke to me and encouraged me strongly encouraged me um, to apply. We have we have been in different um, well um, what is it um, what is the name of so um, what is it um, race that group Core. Huh? Core. Yeah, cool. yeah conversation on race yes. Um, so we um, we were part of the the founding um, 
people that started call um, my my husband and myself. Um, so we have been in, in those um, conversations with Jim. We haven't been too active because of work and whatnot. We have kind of been a little kind of re withdrawn. Um, but um, that's where she knew me and she, um, you know, she reached out to me on Facebook and she was like, hey, Velda, um, I have something to talk to you about. So then, um, like reading more about it and also attending the meeting and whatnot. I mean, like definitely passionate about um, human rights, social justice, making sure that, you know, people um, are given the, the, basic, the basic rights, right? Um, I definitely feel and believe that there's enough resources in this world for all of us to be, you know, to be comfortable, comfortable, lived, um, happy and whatnot, but because of greed and, you know, people seeking power, you know, we all are struggling, so many of us are struggling and not even have that, having our basic needs met. Um, so I definitely think that it, it's in, important um, to, um, you know, to have those types of, you um, what is it? Um, platforms where people can, um, you know, advocate and encourage people to see, to hopefully see people as human beings, right, and and treat them as such. At least give them that um, that that simple, you know, dignity um, and whatnot. Um, what else? Um, again, um, as um, what is it? Sabrina mentioned, you know, um, my. Um, Although I do not have the, the immigration experience because I came here um, documented, but my mother, um, you know, came up here on a, on a work visa and then had to like, you know, work for the system and stuff like that. So that's, that's a big um, issue in America, currently in America that I am um, passionate about and hope that we can um, figure that out. And, and uh, again, treat people because again, um, my, the way I think about it is that, you know, nobody, they, there are not a lot of people that want to leave their home, their, their birthplace and whatnot. Like if I had a chance, I would not have left St. Lucia, um, you know, beautiful Korean island, warm all the time and whatnot. Yeah. I wouldn't have left St. Lucia, right, um, to come up here. So I think there are a lot of people that wouldn't have left their, their, their birthplace if, if they didn't need to. So, um, and especially when it's a life or death situation, I think like, you know, compassion and stuff should be, um, should be granted to those people and whatnot. And I think um, in terms of, um, what is it, um, like the, the people against immigration and stuff like, I, I really don't think that they are seeing people as, as human beings, um, which I think is, is really um, one of the, the basic of all our issues is that people do not see the humanity in each other, um, especially with different groups and whatnot, so. I agree with that. And I have to say, um, I, I, I remember your husband through the Girl Scouts, yeah. And uh, how uh, prolific your, your your daughter was able to sell Girl Scout cookies at UConn because of you. And it was only we only came in second because of you. But it was fun. It was a lot of fun uh, doing that. So I'm glad yeah. to see. And, I, and I'm familiar with you being on core uh, with uh, Shannon would, would tell me uh, good things. So um, very happy to see that you're interested in. in um, uh, uh, being on this on this group as well and lending your voice and your experience and certainly your uh, your passion so um, do you have anything that you think that I should uh, be aware of that I didn't ask or that you didn't uh, tell me before I was able to ask because you <laughs> So, um, so I, I guess just so I want to share, you know, um, like similar to Janine, I'm part of, we are part of my husband and I part of the, um, what is the cultural, um, um, the group at, at um, E.O. Smith. Oh, um, yeah. so, and so we started, you know, with that, but again, you know, my husband and I started together, then I got busy, but I'm hoping this year to like, you know, um, be mo more involved um, in that. My daughter, um, Chennai now is in, um, at EO Smith and whatnot, and just um, definitely appreciate the, the leadership there. So the principal wanting to make the school um, anti-racist. So, um, you know, we are gonna try to be as um, helpful and, um, you know, contribute to that goal as much as possible. Great. Well, uh, thank you, and um, well, honestly, thank you, all three of you, for, for coming. I, I think, Sarah, and correct me if I'm wrong, but we have two regular positions uh, and one alternate position that's going to be available, so it would um, appear that there would be enough for each three of you to be on it, provided that, uh, I, I don't know, I don't, I, we don't typically have 
somebody saying no, um, unless there's a, a glaring kind of thing. And I don't, I don't see that with this group. So, um, so with that said, it looks like um, we're, we're done with candidate interviews. And again, all of you are more than welcome to stay on. We're gonna do a little bit more uh, procedural stuff and then it'll, we'll, we'll call it a night. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. Uh, my, I have my town email on the, the Mansfield website. Um, Sarah Ann's always my go-to person. So uh, I know that she's very responsive, but I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions directly if you three have any. Um, in terms of like, you know, where we're at and, and things like that. So uh, it looks like the next topic on our agenda is old business. Um, there was a proposed committee on committees charge um, where we were gonna try to change it so that we could streamline the uh, appointments from this committee straight into the, the committees that people are applying for, but our town charter um, uh, with an interpretation from the, the town attorney appears to say, uh, or his interpretation uh, says that the town council is the only authority that they can put people on committees. And so that's why I'm advocating for everyone to still participate in these meetings, go to them as, as members of the public and you just won't be able to vote, but you can still lend your voice and um, input. So um, Sarah Ann, is that your understanding of it as well? Yeah, that part will have to be um, stricken from the draft. There's probably a few other finer points on it um, that you may you may want to look at for the draft if you want to keep it that way. And that's something that if you want, you and I can work on over the next month and then bring it back to committee on committees for vote for sending to the council. Perfect. Why don't why don't we do that? We'll keep it on old business, but um, if you want to. Um, if you don't mind sending it to me in a, 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 is it in this packet? Is it just at the bottom? Yeah, it's in the, it's in the packet, but I will, um, I'll make that one edit that we know we need to make, which is the appointment Great. piece. And then I'll email you a, uh, a word version. Um, to see what sort of other edits you might want to make. At least I thought it was in here, but of course now I can't get my hands on it. Oh, it's, it's, it's in the, uh, it's in the agenda item summary. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. So, okay, we can do that. And then the rest of your items here, we're not able to really do anything on. That's correct. Yeah. So I think uh, with that, um, unless you have anything else that you want to um, do, let's, uh, let's adjourn. I do not have anything else. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. No, I said hi. <laughs> And, uh, thank you. Enjoy your evening, Sarah. Thank you, Sammy, as well. Bye. Bye.